This season 7 has been one of the best seasons that 2K has released by rewards, dribbling packages, different things like that. The curry slide is here. Yes, the curry slide is here. But before we get into this banger and this dribble tutorial, make sure that you like up the video. Make sure that you subscribe. We just hit 25K. Let's go, man. This is nuts. I really, really appreciate all the love that we're receiving. Man, it was just nuts. Just last week, we hit 24,000. And and three days after that, we hit 25K and we're on the 26K now. So make sure that you like up and subscribe. And I'm going to be breaking down every single thing that you need today to be effective this season and get that level 40 quick and, you know, go out here and go crazy on the, on the dribble stick. All right. So let's get into this bank. So first thing first, I want you to go to your controller set. I want you to make sure your pro stick is on absolute. Everybody has their opinion on this. Some people go to dribble moves. Some people go to shot. I like to leave it on default because i like to dribble and use my shot stick as well too so i leave it on default but this is important you want to turn this on absolute because absolute be able to help you be able to do the dribble moves i'm doing in a much easier fashion all right let's get into the sick all right off the rip i don't want to keep y'all here for a long time so if y'all want to copy these y'all can pause the video and copy these yes i said that y'all can pause the video and copy these all right so look dribble style we're gonna go with quick d mitchell for signature size up isaiah Isaiah Thomas for signature um, combo. Um, size up escape is Stephen Curry that you want on. That's how you get the Curry slide. Uh, moving crossover, you want to go with Kyrie Irving. Um, moving behind the back, you want to go with Scottie Pippen. Moving spin, Penny Hardaway moving spin is really, really, really good. So you want to go with that. And then moving hesitation, Scottie Pippen. Moving step back, Jimmy Butler. And these really don't matter, but um, I just have these on normal and um, none. All right, so for my dribble badges, this is what I have on for my dribble badges. These badges just work now if you got more the more the barrier you know what i mean but at the same time these work for me this is what you've seen in the highlights of me doing i'm showing what works for me so if i was you if you got more definitely put ankle breaker on ankle breaker definitely helps you um you know be able to get ankle breakers and also to stop and go is really good too it also helps you too as well so you can put that on to help you them the two extra badges if you got more i would definitely put on okay so look i'm going with quick chain first um quick step handles for days hyper drive space creator and tight handles and unpluckable on bronze okay steals is really not effective in this game so i go with unpluckable on bronze because i know how to protect the ball and it helps me now if you need to go higher go on silver turn tight no turn space creator to silver and then go unpluckable on silver and you can be good with that but this is a really good setup especially if you only got 19 badges this is a really really good setup to iso and do what you need to do and um, be effective on the floor all right so i'm gonna start off just showing y'all some basic you know moves that i do so a lot of people ask me the behind the back that i do okay so i love holding the right trigger i love setting up because you have to be at an angle so i'm gonna hold the right trigger i'm gonna flick down on that um analog stick on the dribble analog stick i'm gonna straight this flick straight down i'm gonna get at an angle and then I'm going to use, I'm going to use the, see how, see, I'm going to use the analog stick to flick diagonal and go the opposite way that I'm going. So if I'm going, if I'm going, let's say, let's say if I'm going like, I'm going to the right. So I'm going to flick it down the opposite way. See, see what I mean? I'm going to flick it down the opposite way. So if I'm going, so look at this, if I'm going, if I'm going left, okay. I mean, I'm going right, flick it, See, I'm going to flick it the opposite way and you flick it down diagonal as you see. So next, I'm going to teach you like the curry slide and the curry slide spam. So how you do the curry slide is simple. I'm pretty sure everybody know how to do it. It's right, right trigger and then down diagonal. OK, and if the ball is in my left, I'm holding right trigger diagonal to the right. The ball is in my right hand, right trigger diagonal to the left. OK, so I'm going to spam it up. OK, I'm not going to let the animation um, finish. It's going to kind of give me like a joke kind of spam. So look. See ya. <laughs> It's like, it, it, and you just got to go back and forth. It's like the muscle memory of going down, boom, 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 boom. But you're not letting it finish. You know what I mean? So you just let it play out for a little bit. Right trigger, boom. And you kind of get that. You kind of get that here. I'll show you all again on my hands again. Because I want you all to get all this. This is good stuff. Right trigger. 
See, and if you get the right timing of it, it's like, you know, almost like a beat. You get the right timing of it, you kind of get like this jolt spam that kind of throws off your opponent, all right? So another thing I like to use, let's say I'm standing here and I want to get a speed boost and I can't, let's say I want to get a speed boost, but I want to spam up some things. So just like the curry slide, this right here, you kind of get this right here. That's like kind of cheesy. <laughs> Hold on. So all you got to do is like if the ball is in my left hand, I'm flicking not with the not with the right trigger. I'm not letting not holding the right trigger. I'm flicking down agonal, down agonal. It kind of gives you like that little like kind of cross. So at the same time, if you time this right, you could speed boost out of this. So let's say if I'm doing this, I could go out this way. See? <laughs> so like you want to let it play out so as soon as i let it play out like boom boom hold on hold on let me do it like it's like two angles down so diagonal left diagonal right then go and then you're going to and then you're going to push this you're going to push this towards the angle that you want to go so you normally want to go with the other hand so like here i'll show you you want to go with your opposite hand the opposite hand is on so if I know it's in my right, I'm gonna start off here. I'm gonna go left, okay? If I know it's in, if I know it's in my um, right, my left hand, I'm gonna flick right, and I'm gonna go here. See what I mean? And I'm always, and it, and it just kind of puts you in the animation. So at the same time, you can combo these, right? Let's say like if I want a curry slide out of this. And you could just combo out it. You could do different things. And it's like, you kind of like skating around the floor. You know what I mean? So like everything is just combos. That's what I love about this game. And that's why I dribble so different from other people and other dribblers. And a lot of people be like, bro, you're, you're awkward to guard because I don't dribble like the community. I try to dribble like me. So everything's a speed boost, everything. Even like the behind the back, you know what I mean? Like you could just add all these things together that could really, really help you. Another thing I like doing too is like you kind of get a speed boost out of this too. You hold right trigger, you push up diagonal on the analog stick to your opposite hand, it gives you a speed boost. Watch this. See? <laughs> It kind of gives you a speed boost and you can let it play out. It's almost like the curry slide a little bit, you know, but it kind of throws your opponent off. You can, you can do whatever you want to do, but you want to just make sure you get the muscle controls of flicking it like diagonal up and diagonal right, you know? So if the ball is in my opposite hand, I'm going diagonal up and you will see it because you'll see your guy li literally get this pull by him, you know? And you could just kind of kind of left right with it if you want to do that, but you could just combo with it. Like, let's say like, if I want to do this, you know, all these, all these moves are just the things that I taught you, but just comboing all together, that's making different moves. Now, same with this, like a lot of people like doing this too. You can hold right trigger and you can flick up on the analog stick and he kind of gives this jolt, but you can speed boost out of that too. You know what I mean? You can speed boost out of that too. So like what that is, it's just holding the right trigger, flicking the analog stick back, letting the animation play out. See, and it's like just letting it play out basically. And you could just do whatever you want out of it. Kind of give you a different one out of that. And you could just do whatever you want out of it. And at the same time, it's just setting you up for something else, you know? That, curry slot, boom, step back, and you got it. <laughs> so you can put different combos with this, man, to really, really help you out, you know? And all this is just combo dribbling. That's all it is. I'm not doing nothing special. I'm just muscle memory off a of combo dribble. That's all it is, you know? But you could just put yourself in different animations. Now, one animation I do like, too, is like the, the moving hesitation, um, step back to the rim so like literally holding left trigger flicking down the analog stick he kind of gets a speed boost as you see see that and like it kind of like gives you like this this hesitation and speed boost to go out see
and you could just do drive to the rim too. I like using that to drive to the rim too. But like I said, you got a whole bunch of different things you can use. Hopefully this video really helped y'all. You know, like I said, you could just sit here and just size up, man. Whatever you want to do, you know, whatever you want to do. And just go crazy, man. And just make your own combos up. And that's what I try to tell everybody. Like, don't play like everybody else. Look, man, I really appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for liking and watching and subscribing. Man, practice these moves in your my court. I promise this is going to be really, really good for you. This is definitely going to help you out. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment in the comment section. I appreciate y'all. King out. Let's go.